Ali signing in with HipHopWire.com. We had the 10 year anniversary of Smooth Magazine, and we're going to check inside and see who's here. Hip Hop Wired, and we're chilling here with Mishanda. Hey, Miss Mishanda. Hello, how are you? How's everything going tonight? Everything's great. We're celebrating life. So you're celebrating the 10th uh, year of Smooth Magazine. How does it feel to be part of that legacy? It's good. I mean, it's, it's definitely a great magazine. It's done well, so it's still here, and that's an accomplishment in itself. So So now this, this latest issue is all 50 Cent shooting. So tell us, how do you feel about 50 Cent like shooting now? He's doing pictures instead of hip-hop. What do you think about that? I think it's brilliant. I love when artists step out of their box and do different things. And being a photographer is definitely, it's sexy. It just shows, you know, different perspectives. So I'm happy for him. Right, so what, what's next for Mashonda? Because we, ha we, we haven't heard anything from you. This is uh, my first design. <laughs> that, look at that. Wow. I'm so honored to have Jennifer wear it. No? Jennifer. Yeah. With the shoes. Those don't come out till next week. Right. Well, you know. Now, now what's, tell me about these shoes here. These are limited edition Christian Louboutins. There was only like a very few made. They hurt like hell, but they look fabulous. So I'm rocking them. It's my birthday. Like, why not? Now, have you have you graced any of the pages of Smooth Magazine? Yet? No, someone just asked me that, but um, you know, you never know. I know Fifty shot this, so we'll see. Maybe he could shoot me. I, Is, when I, was a kid. I think I was like, this is my album first came out. I was like, <laughs> 2005. What are you doing here tonight at the Smooth Magazine 10 year anniversary? Sure, um, of course, supporting Smooth and, and Fifty. Hey. Family, so why not? You're a big supporter of 50. Did he shoot you for this uh, edition of the magazine? Actually, he didn't shoot me for it, but I am a big supporter because he's always been a big supporter of me. So. so was he there for you when you and Joe Budden was going through the It was nothing but business, but he's always been there when it comes business-wise. He's, he's a very intelligent man, and anytime I have a chance to pick his, his brain, I'm there. That's dope. Now, we're, we're here some <laughs> Joe Buttons came early, tried to propose to you. Is this true? Is this real life? Uh, yes, it is. So did you say yes? I know, I think Joe has a lot of things to work out, you know. So this is going crazy again, basically. I'm not saying he's going crazy. I just think he's very intense, and that's somebody I, you know, regardless of everything we've been through, you let go, you let God. I love him to death as an individual, as a person. Um, and for right now, you know, I have work to do, and he has a lot of work to do. So we need to figure it out. So you guys still support each other, still love on that side? Um, he's here, and I'm there. Uh, let's just say that. Like brother and sister. We're trying to mend. Or at least, re, uh, we're trying to, we're trying to, uh, our friendship, we're trying to get it together, at least. Good. One thing at a time. Cool. So let me ask you a question. This, this uh, body suit you're wearing, is this a Torre design? Uh, actually, it's not. Okay. So what is this you're wearing? Can we see it really quick? Just... Oh, What time? So... So are these this is this from the same company that Lil Wayne got his pants from? I don't know. I didn't I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Mook, what's going on, man? How you feeling? I'm good, man. I'm right. feeling good. Tell us what you're doing out here at this event tonight. Um I just came to, you know, um see the beautiful women, you know what I'm saying? Get drunk, you know what I mean? Hopefully pass out probably, you know what I'm saying? Do something like that. That's it. Alright, so you signed the double law. Tell me what what was the move with that? What was your thought process in going into uh, Rough Riders? I wanted some people that were street credible. And that was as hungry as I was, you know what I'm saying? Like, Double R ain't been out for a while, so I figured they needed a, a, a artist that 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 can uh, propel them back to where they was, um, you know, rightfully on the throne. So that's what I did. I signed with them, and it is what it is. Now we about to make history. The compilation album, October 18th, that's dropping. Rough Riders presents Past, Present, Future. I got the DJ Khaled mixtape. It's called 401K. That's about to drop. I got the single with Akon and Jada. It's called Freaky. That's crazy. It's about to, it's about to get ugly, man. So you you were talking about street credibility. Why not sign the G unit? Fifty, my boy, man. You know what I'm saying? That's that's fam from all different angles. You know what I'm saying? It just never happened. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
We still cool though, you know what I mean? It's your boy Mook the Easy Man, aka Mr. ODA. Where you go, your b know me double R in the building. HipHopWire.com with the f is shaking. Easy. Hey, y'all, it's Girl Terry Tay, everyonline.com, and this is 50.com. Right now, you're tuning into or watching or clicking on HipHopWire.com. Peace out, y'all. Hey, I'm Jennifer Williams from VH1's Basketball Wives. And I'm Ashonda. And you are watching HipHopWire.com.